Hey guys, welcome back to Sony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing with you, 5 best downloaders for Android. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. So let's get started. So there are going to be a lot of options that you could basically get or use for your Android device here. So let's start with the very first one, it's going to be Download Navi. Now, in this case, Download Navi is a lightweight open source download manager that keeps things clean and simple. This one's perfect if you prefer an ad-free experience and want a tool that does its job without trying to do much. It supports multi-threading downloads, which helps speed things up, pause and resume options, and integrates smoothly with most Android browsers like Chrome or Firefox. Now, the UI is super minimalist here, so you're not dealing with clutter. Plus, since it's open source, it gets love from the community and stays reliable without annoying ads or hidden tricks here. So, a great choice for anyone who values simplicity and performance. Now next is we have one DM, or in this case going to be one downloader download manager. Now, which is often praised for being one of the fastest Android download managers out there. Now, what makes it stand out? Well, it supports splitting downloads uh, into up to 16 parts, which can really crank up your speed. Now, it also includes a built-in browser that detects downloadable content or on any page, whether it's documents, videos, or large zip files here. And it lets you download them with just a few taps. There's also support for pause and resume options, auto retry, and even download scheduling, which is great if you're on limited data or want to download things overnight. Despite its advanced features, WDM is easy to use and making it a great option for both beginners and power users. Now next is we have ADM or Advanced Download Manager. Now ADM has been around for a while and has been has earned a solid reputation among Android users. It's super feature rich. We're talking about parallel downloading up to three file, files here and multi-threading support, auto resume and even download queen. Now you can organize your downloads neatly in folders and it also has a widget that lets you keep an eye on your progress right from your home screen. Now one feature that you will particularly like here is the ability to limit download speeds manually, which is useful if you're multitasking or on a shared connection. ADM is also frequently updated and works well with large files, making it ideal for students, professionals, or anyone dealing with big downloads regularly. And next is we have Free Download Manager. Now, if you ever use FDM on a Windows PC, then you'll you'll be glad to know that it has a solid Android counterpart as well. Now, the Free Download Manager app brings in features like organizing downloads into categories, traffic usage control, you assume support for field downloads, or even download acceleration by splitting files into parts. Now, the interface is intuitive, and while it does offer a few more features than some basic managers, it doesn't feel bloated. It's a smart pick for users who want uh, something dependable and slightly more professional, especially for those who often download mix of file types like PDFs, videos, and software packages. And the last option that we could get here is going to be Fast Downloader. Now, as the name suggests, Fast Download Manager is all about speed and efficiency. If you're someone who doesn't want to mess with too many settings and just wants something that gets the job done quickly, this is this is actually it. It supports multiple simultaneous downloads, background downloading, and lets you set custom download speeds. Now, the app is extremely light on resources, meaning it doesn't bug down your phone while it's working, and the interface is clean and the over experience is focused on letting you start and finish downloads as fast as possible. It's a good fit for people who want to download large media files or batch files from cloud storage links. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.